Kathy Thomas, and I'm with Deborah Geimer. And Deborah is the winner of the Calling All Cooks Recipe Contest at the Register. And it was themed to your mother's best recipe. And Deborah wins all kinds of great prizes. She wins $75 gift certificates at Sur La Table, at Builder's Surplus, and at Plowboy's Market. And also a beautiful Casablanca kitchen fan from the Trading Post. So, Deborah, this is from your mother. How'd your mother get this great muffin recipe? Oh, years ago, when she was hiking with her friends, they stopped for lunch at a delightful little restaurant, and they had these wonderful muffins. So she asked if they possibly could give away the recipe, and the cook wrote it out by hand and gave it to her, and we've been using it and changing it and tweaking it ever since. Oh, and they just sound so delicious. They're wonderful. So show me how. Okay. So we're starting with the wet ingredients, and yes. you've already mashed about three bananas? Correct, and we're going to add one more to the mix, and nice ripe bananas are a good flavor addition to these. Right. Um, they don't necessarily need to be totally pureed because some chunks in there are really good. You know, I like that. And you're using a, a potato masher. It's you? the easiest thing. Doesn't and I like the texture when there's a little bit of, uh, mm -hmm. of pieces left. Sometimes you get a little chunk in there. It's right. a nice surprise. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> to that, we're going to add three eggs and oil. You can use any type of vegetable oil. This is what's going to make those nice and moist. And then we're also going to add a can of crushed pineapple with all the juice. Oh, undrained. Undrained. So all we've right. got all that nice pineapple juice in there. So then we will mix up our dry ingredients. We have white flour. Right. And then I like to mix into that some nice whole wheat flour. And some baking soda. Right. We've also got a little salt, cinnamon, which oh, is sort of yeah, a... yeah, which everyone says is so <laughs> good for you. Secret flavor right. ingredient. We can actually go ahead and throw in our nuts okay. and our coconut into that because it'll sort of coat them a little bit with the dry ingredients and right. that will allow them to be dispersed evenly mm -hmm. throughout the muffins. Now let's All go right. for the wet stuff. All right. We're going to throw these in here. We're also going to add our vanilla to that mix and then just blend it so that pulling up all the dry ingredients and sometimes it takes a little while right? so you don't have any little pockets. Of so you're dragging that spatula really down to the bottom of the down bowl. Down to the bottom. And then you're giving the bowl a little bit of a turn mm. so that you're getting all the ingredients that are at the bottom to the top. I we're trying. <laughs> <laughs> you're muscling it, aren't you? <laughs> So now into the pans. That's what we'll do. And I All find right. one of the easiest ways to get them in there is with the good old soup ladle. Well, isn't that a good trick? Into the middle of the oven, 25 yeah. to 30 minutes? Yes. Okay, Deborah, we've had these gorgeous muffins out of the oven for about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And now you're going to show us how to get them out. Yep. Okay. The no-stick spray works. You can okay. just shake them. Right. Oh, there's that, one that's already they, come loose. And they start to come out. And, and we'll just... Just putting those on a cooling rack. We'll get them out here so they can cool further. And they're just beautifully domed. Mm. And they're a gorgeous color. Deborah, thank you so much. These hummingbird muffins are gorgeous. Oh, it's been so much fun. I've had a great time. Come back again and cook with me. I'd love to. Okay, thanks so much. <laughs>